What's up, world? My name is Jarrell Clemens, aka Exotic, and welcome to our show, Seen But Forgotten. Throughout our series, we'll be combing the streets of Atlanta to get inside the minds and the hearts of you and the people that we pass by every day. Some of us pass by them like they don't even exist. And that's why we're here, to give a voice to the voiceless. Because some people like to call them homeless. I call them human. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you a few questions, you know. Thanks for stopping to take the time with us. So, you know, tell us your story. I, uh, well, I got out here about eight months ago. I had a good job, everything, man. I lost it to heroin. Yeah. I, I met my demon at 34 years old, bro. And I'm telling you, you took everything in a matter of months. I mean, a matter of months. I lost my job, family, everything. Yeah. I got clean, but I done burnt so many bridges with family, friends, everything because of the heroin addiction. Yeah. It's hard to build a man. Nothing. You know? yeah. So, that's a great place. So, do your family and friends treat you any different, or do they try to of give you a helping I mean, hand? As in, no, not really. Because I burnt the bridges. I mean, as right. a heroin addict, they see a needle, drugs, nobody wants to help. And when you're down, even even if they see you clean, you're still down, nobody wants to help you back up once you're done. Right. I definitely understand that. So you uh, travel, you know, you uh, walk the streets, or do you have a certain location? I have a certain location around here okay. uh, so I can make money uh, to get by and stuff like that. You ever feel you feel safe out here, or is it a uh, not all the time? No. Right. I mean, where I'm at, I, I feel pretty safe where I sleep at. Right. But when I first came out here, it was hard because there's so many people at one time, and I had to find my safety zone. You know what I mean? Because man, it's dangerous out here. Right. I definitely understand. Is there anything that you like want the world to know? Like, if you if, there, if there's something that you can say to people that you want them to know. You know, what, what, what would that be? Uh, don't take what you got for granted. I mean, that's what was my problem. I didn't know I had it all until I lost it. You know, I didn't accept it and enjoy what I had. Right. I took it for granted. And that's what I would tell people. Don't take nothing for granted. I understand. I always expect the unexpected. You know? uh, all right. Hey, thank you for your time, man. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time out. Yeah, we'll definitely be checking. So is there anything out there that if, if you know, if you had like something that you could say to the world that you want them to know, what would that be? It would be, don't take nothing that you got for granted. Uh, always expect the unexpected and really enjoy everything you got in life. Because when you, when you take it for granted, when you lose it, you'll know it. You'll know it immediately, especially if you go down the road I went down. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for taking the time. All right, man. But when it all unfolds and my story get told, I sell my soul. I set my goal and I pay my toll. Salt of the earth, I mean the life of the party Some people fiend for religion, some people fiend for Bacardi Whatever is your addiction, or whatever the case If you're better than you were yesterday, celebrate Celebrate bouncing back, celebrate your ambition Celebrate your loved one, not going back to the prison Cause we all just one bad decision away So I ain't judging nobody, I give my partner a break I know some people in the world ain't right But it's the ones that got your back to help you get through life And now it's like Ross said, I got two 